Hey everybody, welcome to my uh, little YouTube channel. I'm going to try and give this a shot again. I just picked up something here by accident. This is kind of what's going on right now, and no, you haven't seen it yet. Oh, there's my little, cool little micro bench vise. I love that thing. Machinist tools, I'm not going to get too lengthy here, but here it is. That is what they call a Unimat DB200. Or a Unimat SL, and it's a micro lathe. Picked it up kind of by accident, kind of a barn find. Uh, I was looking, and this is what it's related to. I'm, I'm a hobbyist uh, watch repairman, a jobber, but I'm also a machinist, tool and die maker, and a millwright fabricator by trade. So I do this stuff for fun. Anyway, I bought this lathe off this guy. Thanks, Brad. Turns out he's right in my backyard. He's only a few miles away. I couldn't believe it. And uh, what I was looking for was a watchmaker's bench. I've got a roll, roll top bench and it's it's too big. I love it. It's solid oak, but I'm going to get rid of it. It's for sale. Dirt cheap. I'm going to have it. Anyway, I bought this lathe uh, for dirt cheap. Didn't really know nothing about it. I punched in uh, Watchmaker's uh, bench. Uh, nothing came up, so I punched in or typed in uh, Jeweler's bench. And they're kind of close, if you know anything about watchmaking and repair. They're kind of close. I mean, you can buy them. I like to buy one used. And uh, no benches came up, but this came up. Jeweler's lathe. And I have been absolutely hooked ever since. This thing is in mint shape. Um, started doing some research on it. Turns out uh, these little things are kind of a hot ticket. And, of course, you know, the bay. Uh, but Brad and I struck up a conversation, um, found out we spoke the same language, did the same things. Uh, ultimately, found out about a new trade called scientific glass making. Uh, that blew me away, literally. But uh, long story short, I got this for really cheap, and uh, I didn't have to rebuild it, which I'm doing now, as you can see. But I'm going through it, as I should, uh, cleaning it up. This thing has probably been untouched for over 50 years. Uh, it's long obsolete, they don't make it anymore, but however the parts are available, they're very rare and they're very expensive. So this is the beginning of my video, it's not going to be too long. Uh, I just wanted to tell you, <laughs> I just have, I've just had this thing for a few days, and I'm telling you, look, look at all the stuff um, this this job entails. Uh, I brought out some of my machinist tools from work. Um, there is the milling column, they call it, and I'm gonna stop here in a few seconds. But this is the lathe itself, and you have all these attachments. I got a whole bag of stuff right there. I've got parts. I found some stuff on eBay, chucks, tooling, um, uh, support, live centers, dead centers, you name it. So I'm uh, putting it all together, cleaning it, lubing, oiling. There's the main spindle assembly. Uh, the bearings are in great shape. The races are in great shape, but however, they're um, uh, they're going to need some grease. Um, anyway, this is where I've started. <laughs> this is where I'm at so far. There's the motor, the U90, the the piece de resistance, the U90, thing is in absolutely mint condition. But look how small this is, though. This lathe all together, I don't know if you can get any scale off some of the other tools, but this thing is only approximately 16 inches long. Made in Austria and really, really tight. Precise. Very, very well built. So over there you can see behind all the stuff there's its original box I'm gonna fix that up with a handle and some new piano and brass piano hinge you can see but but you can see what's happening here the job is growing <laughs> tooling is starting to fall all over the place I had to bring over a table thanks to my buddy Joey who's letting me uh... oh there's my first piece of professional video production equipment it's a four dollar ninety nine cent phone stand so I don't have to jiggle all the time like this I don't know about you, but it gives me a headache. So, anyway, stay tuned, huh?
Joe, thanks for letting me use the shop. And uh, stay tuned. Unimet. DB200. See ya.